Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Top Drives. I know I was MIA yesterday, but when the only thing I can upload a video on is the like event that happens every day, it gets kind of stale, wouldn't you agree? It gets kind of stale to just record every, you know, daily event that comes out, you know, whatever it may be. I don't know, it just feels like it's a bit of filler content, which is not really what I want to fill my channel with. If the challenge system was normal, like it usually is, then there would have been challenge videos coming out on, uh, you know, just every day now. But unfortunately, the challenge system is the way it is, so we cannot make challenge videos, although I wish we could. So that is what it is, but today we actually have an interesting event we can play, so that's why I didn't upload yesterday, I didn't think there was anything interesting enough to make a video on, and I don't want to bother you guys with just filler videos that you probably don't really care for anyways. So that's why there was no video yesterday, today we're having a look at the qualifiers though, and I think that definitely is enough to like, uh, be a video. So that's why we're doing that today. Uh, if you guys do want to feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm on that road to 10k and we're only 790 away. And that is not far, not far to 10k. So if you do want to be a pal, I actually had a look because I thought uh, being the channel I am, I feel like a lot of the people who watch my content are my subscribers. It feels like it. But I had a look at my analytics, where you can see how much of your watch time comes from subscribers and non-subscribers. And 52.8% comes from non-subscribers, meaning only half of you who are watching are subscribed. So please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Would help me out a lot. Now let's have a look at what these qualifiers are all about. We are having a look here. We have free wet, okay. Uh, free wet, okay. Free wet, alright. And then only two here, which is quite interesting, but free wet is the overall gist, right? And I saw you could use Volvo, which is probably uh, a good thing for me. What do we have on average? We have 71 on average, which is quite high, let's be real. I think something like this. Uh, mm, how much is my standard tires Volvo? It's 75, actually. And then I could use these to have, like, the wet cars, and then that could be one of the dry cars. I kind of like that. What do we have? Ah, uh, but then again, maybe this is a good thing to have. Why did I turn into a girl? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but then again, um, that wasn't uh, that wasn't uh, supposed to happen. Um, yeah, I, I think this is good, right? This is good enough. Surely, surely this is good enough. I hope so. I think a top ten is not incredibly far-fetched considering i do have like two maxed out of these volvos right but then again i've been wrong in the past i think the the, the uh, mito should even be better than the julia here on the mountain slalom yeah i picked the mito because i think overall it should be better than a julia basically everywhere except for maybe a drag and maybe fast circuit i don't quite know but that wouldn't go on fast circuit anyways you know so it's totally fine now having two of these C30s maxed out are definitely go are definitely is definitely going to help me out in this particular event. Unfortunately, the finals and whatever is not going to be uh, Volvo related. It's going to be quite far from Volvo related. I don't quite remember what, but we can probably figure it out here quite easily from the rewards. We have Jaguar packs World Expo what is going on here? Jaguar World Expo? Or is it Jaguar, Bentley and Oldsmobile or something? That's weird. Is it really Jaguar, Bentley and Oldsmobile? I don't even know. I would have had to... Well, I can actually look in my uh, server. Wait a second. I'm sorry for this little intermission here. I should have probably com uh, compared this. Yeah, I should com I should have compared this, guys. I should have probably pre pre prepared this. All right, let's have a look. The prelims. Oh, it's petrol. Petrol, UK and US. What? Oh, five-seater petrol. Okay, let's have a look at what we have for that. So it's... 
UK US five seater petrol for the finals. Oppa. Specifically five seaters too. And then petrol. Oh I have a lot. Alright, I see. I have no legendary. Interesting squad though here, right? Like I have this. That's probably gonna come in clutch. I have three of these, you know? I have this, I have this. I have this if it's off road. Huh, interesting. I think there will be won't there be further restrictions? The legendaries are doo-doo. Honestly, I might be I might be looking kinda of fresh here. Honestly. Might be looking kind of fresh. I wonder. We'll have to wait and see, of course. Uh, not that I have any, like... I, I don't have the biggest want to get the Resvani Beast X. I don't think it's, like, a, 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 a defining car, you know, that I, I... I necessarily need to super try hard to get. But if the opportunity presents itself, of course I will get it, you know? Uh, we shall see, we shall see. Um... I am unsure whether or not that will be uh, a possibility for me, but uh, one could hope, one could hope at least. Alright, so second round of the qualifiers and it's looking quite good. Um, nice. Nice, well there we go. Easy enough. It's going well. It's going well so far. Next race. Okay. 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 Nice. Win. Win. It's looking good, looking, looking good here. That's a loss, but that's fine. That's a win. That's a win. Very nice. Alright. I'll tell you what though, I think my hand is gonna be good enough for top 10 here. Uh, I, I kinda don't have my doubt, I just, uh, you know me, I have to not forget to play uh, in the last hour or so, because I always forget to play uh, in the uh, in the hour or so, so hopefully this time I can be a little bit more disciplined to actually, you know, but then again, they should go the other way around. Uh, Maybe I can be a little bit more disciplined so that I can actually get the carbon fiber here, but it's looking really good. Like, my hand is looking way better than these hands even, and now we, now we are really getting up here, so... It's looking like it's gonna be a um, easy time for me, actually, to, to get this uh, carbon fiber even. But I can see why too, because like, what is really the weakness in my hand? I don't even know. Like, I don't particularly have a weakness in my hand. It's just a very, very, very good hand. I feel as if, though, my four maxed out epics is, like, something that not a lot of people around here are going to have. I'm even going to look at the highest hand here, and I'm gonna play versus this. Yeah, I guess that's my weakness, right? I don't have any sort of legendary. Uh, but still, even this hand, I will easily beat here, so... I don't know. I don't know. It just feels like um, it's gonna be no problem this for me, which which would be really nice if that's the actual case. But I think it looks like it. But as always, guys, please let me know how you guys are doing in the qualifiers in the comment section down below. It's always interesting to see which events it is you guys are struggling in and which events it is that you are doing well in. I think this one is quite a niche one probably quite hard to do well in um, but then again if you have the cars you have the cars you can see how I'm just uh, flourishing here I'm sure there are some other Volvo enthusiasts in my comment section that also are flourishing because of this 
Uh, we are going to have a look at the other event that ends today too, but this was the main event, uh, right? Uh, we are gonna skip the rounds in a standard dream, but first we are going to have to have a look at what's up with a standard dream here. So a bit of extra content here, just me playing the normal event. Uh, G-Force, okay, it's, it's full twisty, full rainy, full American. Okay, I like it. Not sup fam, is it really called sup fam? Uh, Bruda. Bruda. <laughs> oh, it's American dream even, right? 60 on average, okay, yeah, yeah, you come in, you come in. Um, these are so good, I should have a second one maxed out in all honesty. Oh yeah, I have two of those. Uh, is that even good enough to have two of those though? I think two of these go in. And then is that better than this? Maybe. Perhaps. Okay. And of course I am only skipping these, but it looks like I have quite a decent hand here too. Hopefully that is the actual truth and just not me uh, talking rubbish. Uh, but I think it's going to help having two ELRs. Uh, having two of the uh, epic standard tires cars. Um, even honestly, probably, how much points pointage do I have? Not enough, okay. I was gonna say I could put this in too, but I don't have enough points for that. So I'm not gonna do that. Uh, okay, a bot, unfortunately. I hate playing versus bots, obviously. It's not fun in any way, shape, or form. Um, sure. If you, if you are a new player, uh, you're starting out in top drives, and you come across the Cadillac ELR, uh, do me a favor and save that one. It's very, very, very good. Also, the same can be definitely said about uh, this one the GMC Cyclone 74 RQ epic because that one uh, ladies and gentlemen is one of the best standard tires epics um, the second best uh, American one even um, better even than the other one uh, in some stuff so that is a definite keep uh, it's the best um, Standard tires four-wheel drive car in uh, uh, American Dream. Of course, the uh, Cadillac 16 is better, but that has only standard tires. So um, you should check it out if you haven't got it already. Uh, if you manage to find it, definitely keep it. And that is just perfect. I feel like I have a good hand here, honestly. Like. Everything just seems good for this one. So hopefully I will get a carbon fiber from the qualifiers and a ceramic from this one uh, Would be obviously very very good if that were the case because That is what I want. I want to succeed in every single event obviously as the as does everyone playing this game right now, so uh, Hopefully I will I wonder what happens there. It's 40. Remember, the, the car the ELR is facing in this next race is 49 RQ to the ELR's pesky 42, right? Easy. Easy for the ELR. It's such an OP car. Such a great car. Alright, final race. Let's do it. Um, let's go versus top guy. Yeah. I don't care. See if I care, Mr. Top Guy. Uh, karting circuit. Twist. Twisty road. Um, sure, sure, sure. And let's watch this. The final race. Why not watch it, right? 60. Let me know how you guys are doing in this event also. Obviously, let me know both events. Are you doing better in this one? Are you doing better in the qualifiers? Uh, it's always interesting to see. See, even versus this guy, which is a complete powerhouse, we win. It's uh, nuts. This should be fine. It is. And then finally, this is a tie. Alright, well, there we go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel, as I said in the beginning of the video. If you haven't already, it would help me out so much on that road to 10,000 subscribers. 
And if you guys do want to see what I'm currently maxing out, I have an Instagram page where I post every single max that I do. If you want to support me further, I have a Patreon and a YouTube membership you can check out. And if you guys do want to join one of the biggest top drives Discord communities, check out mine. It has over 1,850 members. It's all about top drives, not so much about me. And there's stuff happening in there all the time. So if you guys do want to check that out, feel free to do so without... Any further ado though, and with all of that being said, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Top Drives. Until next time, stay safe, have a good one, take care of one another, and goodbye guys.